This episode of Law Math is brought to you by LawSkinShop.com, the best site for buying rare champion skins. In League of Legends, 12 champions were modified in the 4.1 patch. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at the champion changes and the math behind them. Let's take a look at the changes now. Anivia's auto attack projectile travel speed has been increased by 300 units per second. This is not to be confused with her attack speed, which has remained the same. Flash Frost will still cost 80 mana at level 1, but will now cost 10 less mana with each ability level. Crystallize now costs 70 mana at all levels. The Stun on Annie's passive ability, Pyromania, has had its duration decreased by 0.5 seconds from levels 1 through 5 and 0.25 seconds from levels 6 through 10. It remains unchanged at levels 11 through 18. Annie's ultimate ability, Summon Tibber, still has an 120 second cooldown at level 1, but will now be reduced by 20 seconds with each level. As pointed out by Reddit user ShakespeareBot, since Tibbers remain summoned for 45 seconds, building cooldown reduction on Annie can be very beneficial. If Annie has 40% cooldown reduction and uses her level 3 ultimate ability whenever possible, Tibbers will be active for 45 out of every 48 seconds, or 93.75% of the time. This assumes Annie has the mana required to summon Tibbers, and that Tibbers is not killed after being summoned. If Darius kills a target with his ultimate ability, Noxian Guillotine, he will now have an additional 8 seconds to recast the ability. The travel speed of Evelyn's Hate Spike has been reduced by 750 units per second. The damage from Ravage will now be physical instead of magical. This means Evelyn will have a more difficult time killing jungle monsters with Ravage, as every normal jungle monster has at least 5 armor, but will have negative 10 to 0 magic resistance. Janna's ultimate ability, Monsoon, no longer has a 0.25 second cast delay, however it will remain active for one less second. To make up for this, the actual healing per second has been increased at all levels, along with the healing per ability power ratio. Jinx's base health has been reduced by 40, but her health per level has been increased by 2. This means Jinx's level 1 health has moved down 40 ranks, and her level 18 health has moved down 1 rank when compared to other champions. Flame Chompers will now deal 25 less base magic damage, but will deal 5 more magic damage with each level. Nasus's Wither ability has had his cast range reduced by 100 units. His ultimate ability, Fury of the Sands, will no longer increase the cast range of Nasus's other abilities. Olaf's Undertow has had his base slow reduced by 5%, and slow per level reduced by 1%. Rengar will now have 4 less seconds to deal damage with Savagery and Empowered Savagery after casting it. Empowered Battle Roar's base heal has been reduced by 20 health, and healing per level has been reduced by 10 health. However, the amount healed will now be increased by 1% for every 1% of Rengar's missing health. This means the heal will be as powerful as it was pre-patch if Rengar has zero health. The downside to this is that Rengar will die before he has a chance to heal himself. Please do not attempt this if you are playing Rengar on my team during a rank game. Riven's base attack damage has been reduced by 3, but her attack damage per level has been increased by 0.25. This means Riven's level 1 attack damage has moved down 25 ranks, but her level 18 attack damage has moved up 6 ranks, when compared to other champions. The base damage on Broken Wings has been reduced by 15, and the damage per level has been reduced by 5. The bonus damage dealt will now be equal to 35% of Riven's attack damage, plus 5% of her attack damage times the ability's current level, as opposed to her bonus attack damage previously. Assuming Riven is level 1 with 1 point in Broken Wings, the ability will actually deal 1.6 more damage than it did in the previous patch, assuming Riven has no bonus attack damage. However, if Riven has 6 bonus attack damage or more, the ability will deal less damage on this patch. The shield duration on Valor has been reduced by 1 second. The base damage per second on Shyvana's Burnout ability has been reduced by 5. The base damage on Flame Breath has been reduced by 25, but the damage per level has been increased by 5. The cast delay on Thresh's ultimate ability, the box, has been increased by 0.25 seconds. Overall, 3 champions were buffed, 7 were nerfed, and 2 received a combination of buffs and nerfs. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.